Hello and welcome to Ads Drives. In this video I'm going to be reviewing Roxen Focal Reducer, also known as a Speed Booster, which allows to mount the Canon FD lens to Micro Photo Arts camera, increase the angle of view and increase the brightness on your image. So basically allowing you to get more light, better low light performance on your Panasonic camera. The kit that I'm using is in front of you on my table. It's all arranged there. That's all I've, I've been using in this video. Now, before I talk about all the hardware and all the setup and things that I used, I wanted to show you the sample images. So there'll be four sets of comparisons that I did there. I'm going to show them straight to you guys and then I'm going to talk about the hardware. So if you want to skip that part, feel free. Okay, so first I'm going to be showing you Canon FD 24mm f2.8 at the widest aperture and the same with Canon FD 50mm. I'm going to show you with and without the focal reducer, as you can see they're cycling between. So that's what's going to be shown first, because I want you to clearly see how much brighter the image gets and how much wider the image you can get with a focal reducer compared to without. So it'd be very clear already from the first part of the video here. Next, what I wanted to do is pretty much the same, but I want to do an overlay so you could see literally an image on top of the image. You could see clearly how much image you're losing on the sides there and how much darker the image is without the focal reducer and obviously mask it out so it'd be very obvious for you. Now, the interesting fact is that the focal reducer allows about 1.4 times more the area coverage. So basically you're losing about 30% without the focal reducer or you are looking at 71.1% if you want numbers of the image without the focal reducer. That's how much you're losing without it. Next, I'm going to do pretty much the same, but I'm also going to compare it to Panasonic lens. I'm going to show you how much, how much you're losing basically if you compare it to kit lens, because that's the whole idea of this video to show you how much you would lose without the focal reducer and how much you would lose by using Canon FD lenses with a focal reducer compared to Panasonic ones. Last but not least, basically I'm going to show you a logical progression between the lenses if you compare it to Panasonic 14 to 42 millimeter. Now this is probably the most irrelevant part of this video, but I just put it out there since I have all the data already gathered just for you to see, to look at it and I don't know, maybe make, make up your opinion if you want to replace your Panasonic kit lens with a Canon FD lens using the focal reducer and the price wise it's actually quite similar so it's not that bad because this focal reducer is very inexpensive. Okay so now that you've seen video comparison and it's, it should be pretty clear to you what is the focal reducer, what does it do and what you gain in, in terms of the image, you know how wide is your image, um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the equipment use. So first things first obviously is this focal reducer from Roxen. And basically it's, it's kind of a magnifying glass. Well, not really because it's a bit more complicated than that, but more or less it's a magnifying glass. And it just allows you to take a bit wider image and still put it on the same sensor that the Panasonic has on most of their micro, well, all of their micro four thirds cameras. Now, because I'm using 4K, 4K itself crops it a little bit. So if you film it with 1080p, resolution you would actually get even wider image but nonetheless I'm, I'm shooting with a 4k and that's that's what you get if you use 4k on this camera on the Panasonic G7 so that's the camera that I used now I also used inexpensive adapter from eBay so that's a I don't know a Pico or what is it Pixco adapter that's what it is you can use pretty much any one you want because as you see there's no lens element inside of it very simple very straightforward and very inexpensive but obviously you lose all the features of the focal reducer now focal reducer comes in this nice like a velvety bag and it obviously has caps where this particular adapter pixco adapter did not come with any lens covers so that's that in terms of the lenses, I've used Canon FD lens, as mentioned before, 24 millimeter. That's what this lens looks like. You can get these lenses for around, I think, $100 in very good condition if you want to get them shipped from Japan or something like that even. And this is Canon FD 50 millimeter, um, which is 
and I got it as well from Japan and it was around I think $50 so that's even less and obviously Panasonic kit lens 14 to 42 which actually comes with a camera and this is f3.5 at the widest angle and f5.6 if you zoom it to 42 millimeter so these are the kits obviously this came with the Panasonic Lumix so I have the sun hood and I have the lens cover as well that's beside the point so yeah guys this is the equipment used you saw the video already you saw the comparisons and that's it I'm not gonna bore you with all the details um, you know how I did this video editing or something like that all you need to see is how bright the image is using Panasonic Lumix G7 camera using this focal reducer and any of these two nice Canon lenses. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button and let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it. Did it help you at all? Maybe it didn't. What else you'd be looking for in terms of looking at this focal reducer? Now I know guys, some of you might want to see some chromatic aberrations and things like that, you know, image comparisons, but really guys, I'm not a photographer. I'm not professional video shoot or anything like that i'm just doing it for my hobby so i'm not going to go into those details all i wanted to show you is the brightness of the image and the angle of view that you're getting of using this focal reducer on this camera with these two lenses so thanks for watching have a nice day